Welcome to the SAP HANA Academy. My name is Jamie, and in this video, we'll continue our configuration of principal propagation using X509 certificates. In the previous two videos of the Cloud Platform Blueprint series, we focused first on setting up principal propagation in the Cloud Connector, and then we completed the configuration steps in our SAP ABAP system. So if you haven't already watched these two videos, please do so. In this video, we'll be creating a destination in the cloud platform, and then using Web IDE, we will test our destination to verify that principal propagation is working correctly. I will also show you some of the tools you can use to troubleshoot any errors you may encounter. Okay, so in our cloud platform account, choose the option connectivity, destinations, new destination, and then provide the name S for HANA. The type will be HTTP. We'll use the same description as for HANA. So if you remember when we configured our connection in the cloud connector, we utilized the virtual host as for HANA and the port 44300. So that will be the URL that we utilize here. Because we're using the cloud connector, the prox proxy type will be on-premise. And then the authentication, we're going to use uh, principal propagation. And then there's a few properties we will add. So go ahead and choose new property. And the first one will be WebID usage. And that will be odata underscore ABAP. And then dev underscore ABAP. Choose the new property button again. And we'll use this web IDE enabled and we'll set that to true. Uh, press new property again, and then web IDE system. And we'll set that to S for HANA and save our changes. Okay, so with our destination saves, we can now go to services and we wanna go to web IDE, so I'll use the search to find that, and then I'll click on the tile. And then finally, I'll use the go to service, which will open Web IDE in a new tab for me. With Web IDE open, we can choose file, new, projects from template. And we can choose the Fury Master Detail application. Uh, choose next. I'll just name it the project test, choose next. And then with our service catalog selected, we choose the drop down and choose our system. And if everything is working correctly, we should get the list of services. Now, if we go back to our ABAP system, we can check the transaction SM05. And we can see our user logged in and we can verify here that we logged in with an X509 certificate. If, if you see the user logged in with password or something else, you can delete the session and then try again. If, if this is the case, you should probably close out your browser and, and reopen it and then retry. If you come back to the cloud connector and select the option for log and trace files and for your settings, make sure you have your logger set as either debug or trace. In the LJS underscore trace log, you'll find some entries about the certificates. So if you start at the, the end of it, I'll go back one more. You can see here that when this is working, you'll see I'm generating the X509 certificate. And you can also find an entry where it will show you that it's going to send this certificate and what the certificate value will be, which is this whole entry. Additionally, if you come back into ABOP and check the transaction SICF, here you can just click execute and then expand default host SAP OPU OData 
IWFND. Now when you select a system in Web IDE, what it does is it calls this catalog service to get a listing of all the services that exist in the system. So you want to make sure that this, this service is activated and then you can utilize this test service. And this will prompt you to log in because you're not sending a certificate. So put your username and password in and you should get the base level document. So what it does is it utilizes the service collection I'm going to change the format to JSON. And this provides me a listing of all the, the services that exist on this system that are activated. The next thing you can check is if you double click on the catalog service and choose the log on data tab, at the top you will find a procedure you can see here I have the alternative logon procedure selected. So based off of that selection, if you scroll down, you'll find the order of execution. So you can see here that my second one is the logon using the SSL certificate. So you want to make sure that this option exists in the procedure you are using. Finally, we can go back to the transaction SMICM. And if we go to go to and trace level, we can set the trace level to full trace with buffers and make that change. If you then replicate your issue and use the go to trace file and display all, and then scroll down towards the bottom of the file should find some entries similar to this that show your certificate and you should see that it's trustworthy and it was accepted. If you do not see these entries you want to make sure that you entered the correct certificate into the trust manager transaction which is S trust and also verify that your profile parameters were entered correctly. This now concludes our video for the setup and testing of the destination for our principal propagation configuration. You can find more videos on our YouTube channel, and if you would like to receive updates on any new material, please subscribe to our channel. We can also be found on various other social channels.